Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing my February BookTuber shoutouts. Now, I will say some of these channels are bigger than some of the others. I actually just went into my subscription feed and just found the 10 channels that I particularly like that have recently up late, uploaded videos. So, without further ado, over to the channel. Okay, so first up we've got Cody's Book Corner. I remember when we both used to have a similar number of subscribers, but her channel blew up because of her Wheel of TBR, which is excellent, by the way. I recommend you checking it out. Cody reads quite a diverse mix of stuff, really, and so there's quite a lot of overlap with the stuff that I'm into. Um, but she does read a lot of, like, the booktube darlings as well. You know, fantasy here and there, some contemporary. Just, to, as I say, a little bit of everything. And she's just a lovely person as well. I tend to watch her reading vlogs when I'm feeling a bit down in the dumps. And they really do cheer me up. So thank you, Cody. Up next, we have Book Break. This is a show by Pam McMillan. I actually can't remember the name of the girl who's currently hosting it. They've had a rotating lineup of dis different hosts throughout the year. But they always post cool content. And so recently, they've been doing, like, you know, guess the book from three keywords and that sort of thing. Which is always good fun to put your brain to use, I suppose, you know? And, yeah, they also have some great recommendations videos on such as, you know, where to visit in such and such a, a city for, for book lovers and that sort of thing. Then we have Daniel Green. He um, runs like a fantasy channel, so I particularly enjoy his fantasy news videos. But he does a few other bits here and there. He did a video recently on what it would be like if Frodo was your roommate, which I thought was pretty funny and pretty well made as well. Uh, yeah, just one of those channels where, really, if you're not already watching his channel, you know, you're missing out because everybody else already is, you know? Speaking of fantasy, we have Murphy Napier. She's actually friends with Daniel as well. Uh, I really enjoy her reading vlogs and to... You know, get to feel as though I'm a bit a part of the family. I think it's I think it's Corey is her husband's name. Uh, they have a kid as well, Drennan, I want to say. And yeah, it's just nice because I don't really live like a typical family-based lifestyle, you know. So I feel a bit like they're my adopted family. It's the same reason why I love Cody's reading vlogs as well. It's just nice to get out of my own life and into someone else's. Okay, then we have Jean Bookish Thoughts. I've actually been watching her channel pretty much since I first got into BookTube. She's a great BookTuber, uh, Scottish, but I think she lives in London now. She does a lot of stuff with classics. She's done a Harry Potter and the Classics series. Always has some interesting hauls as well. And just has some in interesting takes on the community as a whole. I mean, she's, she's stood the test of time and for a good reason, you know. In fact, I think she used to host Book Break. All right, then we've got Joel Swagman, and uh, he's a reviewer who, well, I mostly know him for his reviews. He does do other bits here and there, but uh, I've really enjoyed watching all the stuff that he comes out with, especially because there's quite an overlap between our tastes. He seems like quite a friendly, chilled out guy to hand, hang out with as well, so I watch pretty much everything he uploads, and yeah, suggest checking him out. Then we have Brews and Reviews, so this is run by Kat. And, um, yeah, she reads a, a bit of a mix. I actually like her because she's a British booktuber. I don't know exactly where she's from, but uh, I want to say East Midlands. But, yeah, I really enjoy watching her channel. And uh, she's always got such a bubbly personality. Usually has a cup of some sort of drink with her as well. So, um, yeah, and it's just good to see that she's still going. Because I know back in the day she used to host the channel with somebody else. And then they left and uh, she's kept the, the flag, flag going. So, yay. Then we have Bald Book Geek, Will. Uh, Will's just a great guy. He's uh, definitely opinionated, but he gets trolled quite a lot, and I feel a bit sorry for him because he doesn't deserve it, you know? Uh, definitely a great member of the of the community. You always enjoy watching his vlogs as well, like when he goes to Derby Book Festival and stuff. But I also like to hear his opinion on things like cancel culture and the like. I believe he was kind of pivotal in Cancelathon recently, or at the very least he took part. Okay, then we have Totally Pretentious. This is Lukash, and... Um, yeah, he uh, has been doing his bookshelf tour recently, which I've been quite enjoying. Uh, he also gets some really interesting non-fiction stuff. So I just, he's one of those booktubers who I watch because he talks about books that I wouldn't necessarily hear about anywhere else. And so, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to see some really off-the-wall stuff, you know? So, yeah. And finally, we have Ghost Reader, Justin. He's actually currently doing, I think it's for Black History Month. I'm not 100% sure, but he's been doing um, some history videos on black culture anyway, which have been really good to watch. Um, and they remind me of before he did a History of World War One series, One November, and that was excellent as well. He's really good. He's uh, especially good, I think, at making these series and doing these little documentary series. So kudos to Justin and definitely check him out. So there we have it. Those are my February YouTuber shout outs. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button for more. Let me know in the comments what YouTube channels you've been watching and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.